everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you something different. This is the Arteza heat transfer vinyl. This is something I've looked, um, kind of been looking into for a while and I saw the lovely Kathy. She was doing a demo for Trimcraft on Creating Craft a few weeks ago now and she had used the Llama die from the first edition dies um, and she'd had it on a t-shirt and I asked her, oh my god that's amazing, how did you do it? And she said she used heat transfer vinyl. So following on from that, Arteza asked me if I'd like to continue collaborating and if I'd like to choose some more product. So they have this heat transfer vinyl. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to get some and I'm going to do this myself. It's brilliant. I love this stuff. So this is 14 sheets. It's premium, 10 inches by 12. Uh, you get 14 sheets. Yep, said that. PU Multicolor. So let me just bring it out. Now I have started using some of it. So these are the colours you get. So you get this lovely yellow, we've got black, gold, green, orange, like a mustard colour, nice deep red. That red and green would be like nice for Christmas. You get white, silver, that rich kind of cobalt blue, nice light pink, that neon green and then a neon pink. Okay, so that's the colours that you get. Plus you get this coral colour, which I absolutely love. It's like a corally red. So basically, some of you that obviously I don't know what this is, I'll go through the back here. It's, you know, Arteza always do lovely packaging, really, really clear instructions on the back. So it says here, always do a test cut, blah, blah, blah. That's all standard. You want to then decide what it is that you want to do, what you want to use, and then you would cut that amount off. So for example, I cut this piece of bunting, so I cut that kind of, I laid the die over the top, cut the vinyl, and then, you know, use this smaller piece rather than using this whole larger bit. So just cut away what you need. Preheat the fabric, I'm gonna go through and show you all of that. Place the colorless side face down. For better results, cover with, teflon, cover with a Teflon sheet or another suitable material. Again, I'll show you what I done and that worked fine. Heat press, blah, blah, blah. Allow to fully cool and then you separate the film and enjoy your design. And then it does say that wait 24 hours before washing. So that's what it is. And basically you can customize anything you want. So my mind has been going wild <laughs> and I will show you some things that I am now going to design and add some fun kind of patterns to. So the first up is my best friend has a gorgeous little boy called Ralphie. So I've brought this inexpensive little hoodie and I'm going to have his initials on here. So that's the first one I'm going to do. So I'm going to die cut some letters. I'm not sure what colour to choose yet. I'll probably go for white on this one. So I think that white will probably work nicest on this so it stands out. So that's one idea, okay. Then I picked up again this beach bag. So I wanted to try it on different textures. Really fun, this is very me. Um, this great big pom-pom, which I love. But right down here, I want to put my initials and I'm gonna do it in black because I like the black here. And then I just think that black will really pop. So I'm gonna have SC down there. So this is using a real kind of coarse, very textured fabric. Whereas that's obviously a very smooth. So it'd be, I'm just, you know, this is all kind of playing around. This was an expensive, so you know, the worst case scenario is it doesn't work. And then I can put something, I've got material and I'll do something a bit more creative over the top if it doesn't work. So it's not the end of the world. So it's one thing I would say is make sure you um, kind of, yeah, use some old rags or something first and do like little test areas. And then I picked up this plain canvas shopper. Um, and what I'm gonna try and do is have mixed up craft on it or something like that. So I'm gonna play around or I might find a nice quote from, you know, online or something. So that's my idea for this one. And I'm gonna probably die cut some shapes. I might put some stars on here um, and all sorts of things like that. So that's that one. And then I picked up these pajamas. Again, inexpensive, but what I'm gonna do in white is I'm gonna put my initials here on the pocket. But how great would this be if you have a hem party or maybe you're going away for a special birthday and you could personalize these. You could have bride-to-be, you could have hen party or bride tribe as people you know have. It's such a nice idea. You could do something on the back of it, but I, I liked this idea and I'm gonna have in white, I'm gonna have my initials on that one. And
Okay, so I've gone and die cut some bits and pieces here. So I've just basically done all the, the letters really first and I'm going to do those and then I'll move on to other bits. Now, now I did die cut this one as well and you probably saw me kind of not necessarily struggling. I think this would have been better running it through my big shop rather than that smaller machine. Um, it was just a little bit fiddly around the feet, but I think I've managed to get it all okay. I'm going to keep all those little bits in there just because it's too fussy to, to cut out. But it runs through, you know, it will cut through anything really. It works in all your digital machines and... I can't see why it won't work in, in most of your, your cutting machines. So you will have to play around. You might have to change the sandwich kind of orders and, and add in extra shims and stuff like that. But I haven't changed anything with that one you saw me use. That's the way I use it. It's a normal setup and it's cut through perfectly. Like I said, maybe not so much there, but I think that would have probably been a bit better in my big shop. But these have all come out fine. So what I'm going to do first of all is... I've you, ideally you'll be doing this on an ironing board I obviously am filming so I've just folded up an old towel here and um, I'm going to use this so I'm going to use the pajama top first so I'm going to open this all up I love things like this this is like you know it's just really fun and creative I love it brilliant okay so I want to do the pocket so you want to make sure Obviously it's nice and dry and clean and there's nothing obstructing it. Now I've got my iron on here and I've got it, make sure the steam is turned off, okay? And I've got it on max as well. So first of all you want to make sure this is all nice and all the creases are out. And you want to just warm it up basically. So I'm just going to sit that over there like so. And then I'm going to grab my first letters here. Now with the white you will have a shiny side so under here is really shiny the top is dull. The shiny side on all of them is the side that sticks down okay so and when you peel it off if you test a bit in the corner if you can peel the clear stuff off that needs to be on the top okay so I'm gonna just kind of play around with the positioning like so See, I've already got an idea now. I've got a girl's holiday in June. And I've got some fun ideas now of what I'm going to do. So there you go. I think that looks really cool. So now, now you can very carefully go directly on top of this. You don't have to cover something on it. What I found helped is just kind of tacking it down in place. Because once you cover it, you can't see underneath. So I'm just very carefully... Just the tops there. So now that is kind of tacked down on the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to just grab, I've just got this old t-shirt, I'm just going to sit this over the top there. And it states on here, heat press at 300 to 320 Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 seconds. To be honest with you, it's all a matter of judgment. It's quite easy to know if it's if it's worked or not because if you start to peel it and it's lifting off then you go back in with your iron again so I'm just going to hold this here and if you've done I've done I have done transfers years ago I've done many I just haven't done it in recent years so it's quite fun to get back into it again so I am familiar with the process and um, yeah like I said everybody's obviously what they use is going to be different so that's what they've got on the back there but you do have to kind of go in and check it yourself so just hold that down for a bit. Okay. Now the key part, and this is important, leave it. Don't pick this off. It's got to be nice and cool before you lift it. So I'm just going to just wait for a moment. Okay. So that's cooled down now. So then what you want to do is just go in. So at the minute it feels really rough and everything. That's the plastic. That's the top piece that you now need to remove. So if I carefully lift this off. You can see this is your thick plastic. Once you remove that, underneath is so soft and you can't feel, I cannot feel, you can see, look how nice it moves opposed to that S, look, it's quite lumpy. The C completely creases. Now you can't obviously iron over this again now, you've taken this off unless you cover it. So I will be putting that T-shirt back over. But if this wasn't lifting now, or if it was all lifting off, then you need to go back in again like that there doesn't feel like it has actually, the S doesn't feel as um, secure. So I'm just going to go back in, pop that over the top again, 
and it would be okay on that other one because all it this is like how you would you know you're going to wash it and then you'll go to iron your clothes this is how you would have to iron over this all the time it's like any kind of you know transfers on t-shirts sometimes you can't iron on the actual image because you will you'll you'll catch it and you'll get the bottom of your iron covered in rubbish so I'm just going to hold that there again so this is what I mean every everybody's is different really so you just have to don't rush it take your time it doesn't take long at all but don't don't rush it anyway okay so that's now coming off so again just be careful with it although it has stuck don't go like you know rushing it and really tearing it off and now I'm just going to just run some heat over the top of that again okay and that's it that is now ready to go so there you have it it needs to cool down a little bit but it's so soft now that's not gonna you know be annoying or anything you I can't feel it if I run my fingers over I can't feel that at all um but it's really fun in terms of how long it's going to last I, I can't say I mean you know it's an inexpensive bit of fun really but um the bag that I'm going to put it on obviously that's not really going to be touched a lot or going to be washed or anything so I imagine something like that's going to last quite a while this is obviously going to be worn in bed it's going to be washed you know a lot I'm not expecting it to last I wouldn't it's you know but do I think it's fun definitely do I think this is going to be great for Christmas presents you know customizing you know again it's a nice way to make something inexpensive look really expensive so you know wrap that in some nice wrapping paper a nice ribbon on it I think it's going to look lovely so everybody's going to have customized stuff for me this year I think but so that's that one I'm going to do the trousers off camera and you'll see photos of them but I hope you agree I think that looks really fun I like that a lot so that's them next I'm going to do the bag because that's a different um different fabric so let's bring in this one here and this time I'm going to use the black initials so I want to make sure I've got it on the front which it is so I need to get this as flat as possible now I'm not expecting great results because it is a rough surface but it should still stick and like I said because this isn't really going to be you know going through the mill in terms of getting washed and, and rubbed around and stuff. Now those should just squeeze in. Bring that up a bit there for you to see. I think I'm going to have to do one at a time and really butt that S right up to that orange stripe so I've got room. Yeah, it will fit in. So I'm going to, like I did with the other one, I'm going to tack this down. Now if anybody's done this before, I'd love to know you know what your views are and then I'm going to do that there but I find just tacking it down first really helps and if you get any kind of bubbling if I bring that up can you see the little bubbles there that's completely normal because that's the plastic topping so don't worry but that's tacked in place there so it's not going anywhere for a minute and then I can just kind of line this up I'm wondering whether I should have gone a bit high now I like it down low um, I haven't obviously chosen something easy here but that's typical me so now I'm going to squeeze this one in here you know don't be using your best I mean obviously I'm, maybe not everybody's going to have two irons but this is an old like a craft iron so it's used for my sewing and things like that okay so that is tacked in place now so I'm quite happy with that um, and then I'm going to get this t-shirt again and sit that over the top obviously if you've got a rag or anything that will work fine and I'm just going to leave this pop it that way Oop. like so see how that goes first and then I can move it I mean this is real tough fabric so this is going to be able to withhold the heat I hope this one works because I love this bag but if it doesn't, I'll just turn the bag around, pick it off if I can and turn the bag around. So I'm not too worried, but hold that there for a few seconds. Okay. All right, well, that looks like it's sticking. I need to get that bottom bit. I missed that bottom bit, so let's pop that. I need to keep that pulled nice and taut. There we go. I feel like I've got it now. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get that stuck down anymore. I am going to go into it now very carefully 
without that t-shirt just because I really want to make sure that this is really stuck. Okay, so again just going to let that set. I can already see the kind of release sheet on top lifting and I think that's a good sign so as it's cooling I'm going to put pressure on it as well just to make sure it doesn't lift off just because it's quite an uneven surface. Okay, that's cooled down, so let's see. This is coming on. Oh, it's lifting off. Oh, do you know what, guys? I think it's worked. Yay, you see what I mean? Look at the shine from the sea, and then look at that, it goes dull, but in a nice way. So, and it becomes really soft. Look at that, it's so cool. Again, really carefully take that off. There we go. Yay, I got my own personalised beach bag. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I think that looks really good. Let me bring it up a bit closer so you can really see it. Really like it. I think it's just a nice bit of fun and a, a great way to, yeah, really personalise things. So I'm going to go over that again like I did before and just make sure that it is nicely stuck down. And there you have it. Really cool. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea in terms of the bag, but certainly the idea. I think that looks really great. So that's another success. I'm going to be known as the girl now that's got her initials on everything. But anyway, let's do this one here. So this is for little baby Ralphie. So that might be going on my pajama bottoms. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to keep that to one side. So you see lots of kids with their initials and stuff on clothing. So it's quite fashionable, but also expensive. So this is a fun way. I don't know whether to have. No, we have them together. So. It's going to be about there. I think that's about right. So again, I'm going to do one at a time. So let's tack this one down first. Okay, so that's tacked in place. Again, just do exactly the same thing again. Okay, so there you have it. Really, really nice. I think they're great. Like I said, I don't expect this to last forever at all. He's not going to be in this forever anyway, but anything children wear is washed, you know, <laughs> every hour of the day. So we'll see how it kind of lasts. But I, I think it's great for gift ideas, for personalising maybe things that you're not going to be using all the time, like a wash bag, but not in this, not like a makeup bag. That's what I mean. Something that is, yeah, things that aren't maybe going to be washed all the time, I think it's going to be great for. So let's grab this t-shirt and I'm going to stick this llama on it so again you always want to make sure it's something like this I want to get all the creases out of it first of all and get that nice and straight um, I'm just thinking do I want it this side or do I want it that side no this side I want it so um, I think about there actually as well this is something that's a bit more delicate Still hoping it's going to work well though. I love it though, I think it's such a cute little design. I'm just going to have to go for it because I think I'm thinking about it too much. So again, I'm just going to very carefully just stick the uh, top of his head there and the feet. I really think this helps you because it just eliminates that fear of it possibly moving once you cover it. There, so that's all tacked down enough now. And again, pop that over the top and stick it down. Okay, let's see how this one works. Now it's lifting straight away. Just want to be really careful. You can see there. All right, it seems to be doing okay. There we go. Look at that. Yay, I've got a llama on my t-shirt. Do you know what, what a really fun way to incorporate your dyes into your clothing because I don't know about you guys but I know sometimes for example this one here you get beautiful images and you only ever see them on card. This way you get to keep it on you in your clothing and I just think that is really, really good. I'll take a picture of me with it on 
just to show you but I think I've got it straight it looks like he's pretty good there I could now have like there's a heart that comes let me show you so I know quite a few of you went and brought this die set after I shared it oh no that's the wrong one that's the is that the love one that's the sentiments love one where's my although that would work that heart here we go so now I could put you know I could have a llama love up there next to it that I think still looks lovely but I've got you know the avocado you could have like a little watermelon maybe on the sleeve you see what I mean you can do you may just want to have a little avocado right down in the bottom corner something really you know just understated so I will share all the links to the dies that I've used and um, obviously share all the links for this as well do not wash until 24 hours after and um, like I said, I will show you the things that can be washed after, just so you can see as well how they have kind of gone through the wash. I'm just going to set that again now. I've just peeled that backing off. There we go. That's not going anywhere. And you can't pick this off. You would not now be able to pick that off perfectly. It would come off in bits and it would just ruin the garment. But um, I'm really, really pleased with that. I love this so much. So, yeah, again, if you're going away on a hem weekend, you know, people do the T-shirts, you could have some real fun things done very cheap I mean this is yeah much much cheaper way to do it so I'm gonna now have a play around with my canvas bag so I want to do something really nice with that one the hoodie I'm not sure yet and I've got the black t-shirt as well which I might do that heart on I'm not sure I'm gonna play around okay so for the canvas shopper I have done I'm gonna do well I've done mixed up craft and then the acronym or the abbreviation so I've got muck <laughs> which is quite funny but I've die cut all these little bits here which spells out mixed up craft and I'm just basically just going to start sitting it all in place so the handles on this are a bit off but then it was very inexpensive so I'm making sure it's in the center of the fabric and not using the handles and then I'll use the line as well to keep all that in place so I'm just going to spend a few minutes lining everything up Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. It's a little bit fiddly because of all the smaller letters, but I'm just going to carefully, while they're as perfect as I can get them, just tack down the bottoms again because I certainly don't want these moving underneath that T-shirt. And then with the... So all of these, they've all got white, the coloured ones, but the gold, the white, and the silver... Are the same colour underneath so for example you can see there and it does say on the instructions to make sure that you put the white side down obviously it's hard to tell with this so if you just pick off the end let me grab if I just scratch the back of this white can you see there if I peel that away you get this white really really thick and it's sticky on the back but this is the vinyl very very soft smooth vinyl piece okay and this is the top that you will always be ironing onto okay so in this case it's the colored so it'd be the white piece that's the white side that's going down but with the silver yes yeah, so you'll just have to peel off again I can see now there's my vinyl and there's my sticky side so that it will go down that way the plastic's always got to be on the top Okay, so, right, let's pop that one back down there, make sure that's overhanging. Okay, so just make sure that's all down correctly. And again, just kind of, just tack that in place. There we go, and then again, just spend a little time. You don't have to do this, but I do find it helps a lot especially if you're covering it. Okay, so that all seems nice and cool. So again, I can peel this off. So, you know, 
I think this is really, really good. Really enjoying it. It's the first time I've used modern transfers, I guess. I've done this before years ago when I was a young girl. I remember making, tran you know, doing transfers on my like clothing and stuff. So, you know, I have done it, but doing it now as an adult and using my dies, I love it. And it, it gives me something else to do with them. So not that I ever get bored to do them normal die cutting but it's really nice to use it on different fabrics and in a different way so I really recommend this guys and that's honest and I know I've already had a couple of you email me to say that you've received your Arteza stuff from what I demoed in my tutorial last week and you say that you're really enjoying the product so if you like sewing and you like doing soft furnishings and things like that because I think this would look quite fun on a pillow. Maybe may not necessarily, or a cushion, sorry, not a cushion that is maybe used all the time. More of a decorative cushion. I think you could do something really fun with that as well. And that's, I'm certainly going to be using it in, in those kind of things. So, someone like me who's a lover of many, many crafts, this is just another fun thing to add to it. So, yeah, I really enjoy this. This I really like. I like my new shopper bag now. So let's just take that off carefully. Ooh. See that one is being a bit of a bugger. It's not quite stuck. Let me take it off the backing now. I'm just going to add my heat directly down to that and just check that that really does stick. So yeah, I think if there's a negative, it would be um, I'd like some glitter sheets. <laughs> So that's not really a negative. That's me requesting something. So Arteza, please, if you did do some glitter sheets of vinyl, silver, gold, mixed colours, you know, reds, rose gold, they would, I can guarantee they will sell very well and I would be buying them. So yeah, that's a request. <laughs> um, as a negative, for me, there isn't really one. I guess I'd like some more dies, but until I get my digital cutting machine, I think if you've got one of them, then the sky's the limit with this, because I think you're going to be able to do so many amazing things. But I think I've tried a nice variety of fabrics. They're kind of the most common, I think, and what people are really going to use. Would I do it on wool and things like that? I'm not sure. Something to try maybe later on. But, um, yeah really really pleased there we go so let's bring that up so you can see and I like that you get that shine from that silver strip mixed up craft how cool is that anybody interested in a bag well not this one I'm keeping this one for myself but it could be something maybe I have some merchandise and sell it <laughs> but anyway I think that's really cool I like it a lot okay so one other thing I done <laughs> was looking around at other things I can <laughs> stick things on and um, uh, this is my makeup bag, which is just polyester, so it's plastic with plastic and heat. So I was kind of thinking, is it going to work? Now, it has worked, but it has left. Can you see? It's kind of like almost... I wouldn't even know how to describe that, but it's like... I don't know, melted maybe too much? But I still like it. It just already looks worn, I guess. So, I mean, I'm certainly not getting rid of it. But it's really embedded into all the stitching effect on this, which maybe I thought was going to stop it sticking altogether. But if anything, on this, I've got the best um, result in terms of it sticking because I guess I'm just melting plastic into plastic, really, aren't I? So, yeah, I mean, you can't even see. I couldn't even... I can't feel anything there. I would not even be able to start picking that off so I don't think it's going to come off anytime soon but yeah that's gone a bit what I might do is die cut actually yeah let's try that I'm going to die cut it again perfectly marry them up and see that if the vinyl will stick better now onto vinyl so that's almost like a base so let me go and try it again and we'll see what the result is okay so the second time's turned out loads better so that's a a good tip if you do you know lay something down and maybe it's on something like I said, I think that's because I'm using this, it's almost like sleeping bag, you know, nylon, polyester. Let me actually see what it is made of, and then that would help, because this is from Primark, so it was literally just a couple of pounds. Um, yeah, 100% polyester. So, but it's a, a shiny coated polyester. So yeah, you can see now it's got its shine back, and it looks really good, and it's still stuck right in. It's completely smooth, you wouldn't know that there's two on there. So yeah, I quite like that, it's my little 
my personalised makeup bag now. I've got to stop though because seriously you're going to have my, um, my initials on everything. <laughs> okay so it's now the next day, uh, well it's been 24 hours and these have been washed and they've come out fine, completely fine. So you can see there, don't really notice. If anything I think the vinyl is more set I would say. But um, yeah, you do need to turn it inside out when you iron or put something over it. Do not put your bare iron onto that vinyl, it will just stick. Okay, so yeah, it's not been obviously sealed like um, some of them do, more expensive brands I guess when they have transfers they do seal them so that doesn't happen. But I really love it, so I've got my llama t-shirt, I've got my pyjamas with my letter there again. I think with the white on the black it's gone. I guess maybe a little bit crinkly but you know what it's I'm not that doesn't bother me so if it's something that would bother you then well yeah I don't know but that doesn't doesn't bother me at all I've got Ralphie's little hoodie there which has come up really nicely and it's so soft that's what I'm, I'm glad about because I thought some vinyls can be really like if you kept it like that it would all be really stiff this isn't at all it's really really soft so it's going to be comfortable for him to wear and obviously for me to wear that in bed so that's them, and obviously I love my shopper bag. That hasn't been washed, it's, it won't be, so, but um, it's still really set, you know, that's again not going anywhere. But, but that can be rolled up, a lot of my shopper bags go inside my handbag, so I've got, you know, I don't have to use the shop bags that are given to you, so that's that. And then I've got my makeup bag, which I love. I've been using it, used it this morning, and it's quite nice to <laughs> have my name on it. And then my beach bag, or just my nice big bag and I love that again so yeah you'll know me now when you see me walking around because there'll be either this or you know I'll be there in at the gym and I've got my makeup bag out or something so but <laughs> anyway I hope this has inspired you to maybe try something different with your dyes it's certainly inspired me loved doing this really genuinely enjoyed this um yeah can't recommend it enough so I will share the links are below. Put in the code which is mixed up craft one. Again, that will be below. I believe that's the code. Just double check. Pop that in at the checkout and you'll get another 10% off. So it is an affiliated link. So any sales that do go through, I do get a small like a commission. So that's just again as a thank you from Arteza. But I'm also thanking Arteza for, for letting me have this because I love it. So like always, hope it's inspired you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you get on if you do it and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. And I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.